simplify don't forget to subscribe our channel acute pyogenic meningitis where pyogenic is bacterial and meningitis is the word taken out from meninges and itis is for inflammation it is the inflammation of the leptomeninges which are the arachnoid and pia matter and the CSF filled subarachnoid space caused by bacteria causes most common cause in all ages is streptococcus pneumonia whereas age by specific organisms are e coli and neonates and Neisseria meningitis is most common organism in adults and Listeria monocytogens in elderly. Spread Either spread is hematogenous or direct. The hematogenous spread is through the blood-brain barrier whereas the direct spread is through the skull fracture or spina bifida. Symptoms High-grade fever, headache, and neck stiffness are the most common and most important symptoms of meningitis. Other symptoms are nausea, vomiting, photophobia, seizures, and altered consciousness. Seizures and altered consciousness are more common in meningoencephalitis. Signs Nuchal rigidity, Brudzinski sign, and turning sign. Nuchal rigidity is due to cranial nerve irritation in CNS. Brudzinski sign is due to meningeal irritation, and turning sign is due to meningeal inflammation. Brudzinski sign is the sign in which you try to flex the patient's neck. As a result, he feels pain and flexes his legs at the level of knee joint. Whereas, turning sign is the sign in which you flex the patient's uh, hip joint and try to extend his knee joint. He feels pain in the same leg and flexes the opposite leg at the level of knee joint. Other signs are hemiparesis, visual field effects, maculopapular petechial or papyric crash. These are specifically found in the Nigeria meningitis. Cranial nerve palsies, oculomotor nerve palsy, abducens nerve palsy, and facial nerve palsy. Diagnosis. Best initial and most accurate test is lumbar puncture, which is done before starting antibiotics because once you start antibiotics, it will, it will decrease the bacterial load and it, uh, then bacteria won't be detected in the lumbar puncture. In the lumbar puncture. Lumbar puncture findings are WBCs greater than 100 WBC per microliter, differential count shows raised neutrophils, CSF color is opalescent or purulent, glucose is decreased and protein is increased. Other tests. CT scan is done where lumbar puncture is not possible, like in a patient who is having fits or who is confused. Whereas PCR is done in a patient who, who has been uh, started on antibiotics and before uh, lumbar puncture. So we will do PCR to confirm the diagnosis. Treatment. Best initial therapy is started with steroids which are given 15 to 20 minutes before starting antibiotics. It is started with steroids because when you start a, an antibiotic it will it will cause the bacteria break bacterial break, breakdown and as a result all the endotoxins will be released outside and it will then they will cause more inflammation. So to prevent that to happen we will give steroids 15 to 20 more minutes before starting antibiotics to prevent that inflammation inflammatory process then we will give our empirical therapy in which ceftriaxone and mycomycin are given ceftriaxone is given for streptococcus pneumonia cover because it was our overall most common organism for meningitis and mycomycin is given for penicillin resistance A specific therapy is started after lumbar functions lumbar puncture findings are available uh, if a causative organism is nasalia meningitis, then we will give benzyl penicillin. And if the patient shows history of beta lactam drugs allergy, then we will give hemchloramphenicol and vancomycin. And if there is listeria monocytogen, then we will start on ampicillin, ceftriaxone, and vancomycin. Vaccinations are available only for nasalia meningitis type A and C not for B, which is the most common type. Complications. Had, uh, 
deafness most common cause most common complication then hyponatremia hydrocephalus and subdural empyema thank you for watching